Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about Material Master and we would go inside the SAP system and create a master data. Now, if you talk about Materials Master, it is the most utilized and the most important data in SAP, wherein all the data of the material is stored inside. So this data is also made available to a number of processes such as materials management, procurement, pro procure to pay, order to cash, inventory management, production planning. And the T codes which are used to create Material Master are MM01, MM02 and MM03. So MM01 is for creation and extension of material and MM02 is for change and edit and for display we have MM03. Now these are the views of the master data like the sales data we have, sales text, sales data, sales grouping and other important information which are relevant to sales. The plant data has information about the plant where the material is stored. Valuation data has information about the prices and, and costing. Now this is a typical example or a typical screenshot of a material master wherein we have the views, so basic data views, we have the sales views wherein we store information about the sales, we have the purchasing view wherein all the data regarding, regarding purchasing is saved inside, we have MRP wherein the planning data is saved. So this is a purchasing view because we are talking about purchasing. So this is a purchasing view wherein we have the the plant, details of the plant, the material number is here, the description is here. Uh, we see information about the plant where it is stored. We have order unit, we have the material group, we have purchasing group and we have other important purchasing related data inside the material master. Please check this data where it shows that you know 74% of my viewers are finding value from the videos but they have not subscribed. So I appeal to all the viewers to like, share and subscribe to my channel and please hit the bell icon so that you do not miss any notification. Now to create a master data, the T code that we all know is MM01. So if I click on MM01 and I have to select a, a material. So for example, I create a material like S. Uh, I, if I want to create a semi-finished item so like I can give a nomenclature like SFG underscore 001 so uh, the external naming is only possible if you have that check maintained in material type as I showed you in the other video so I type in the number SFG underscore 001 now I press enter now I have to select the views so normally we can select basic data one and two. So basic data one and two are global level data. So it is not uh, for a single plant. So whatever data you type in here, it would be it would reflect on the org level and the client level. We can take the sales area, like we take the three sales area. We take the purchasing view to enter the details of the purchasing um, purchasing details. If I go down, I can I have to select the accounting tab, accounting data. So I select accounting one and two. So the views I've selected uh, are basic data one and two, sales organization one, two, and general data. We have the purchasing data, and also we would select the accounting one and accounting two data. So I go to org level. If I go to org level, I have to select a plan. So I print into the plan. So whatever my plant is and my division. So plan, sales of and division. And distribution channel we have to enter okay so if i click here so once i press enter i will go into the screen so i can write um, a description so for example i write test material so i can type test material and these you know these tick marks are mandatory fields so these fields have to be entered entered so that we are able to save the data so if i do not enter this field i would not be able to save the data. So whatever my base unit is, I have to create the base unit. For example, piece. And I have the material group. So whatever material group, I can select from F4. And I select any material group that I have. I press enter. I would go into the basic data two tab. So normally we do not enter anything here. But uh, if, if, come, if uh, we have requirements to fill any data, we would fill it. Then we we'll go inside the sales organization data so here uh, the metal group is there the base unit is, has come from uh, the last screen 
So I can put here, so this is important. So I have to put uh, the tax data. So whatever my tax data is, the company, I mean, you will be able to know the your, your, your tax data and I press enter. So I would go inside and if I, I have to fill the tax data here again. So if I say full tax or half tax or no tax, I would select accordingly. Now next I would go press enter and go inside the sales of two data. So here we have this item is mandatory. So I can select the data, the item category group and I press enter. Now there I have the sales material data. So if I have a loading, uh, you know, transportation group, I normally select uh, a transportation, transportation group like on pallets and the loading group as crane. So these two data are important. We can enter the shipping data, transportation group and loading group and we press enter. We would go inside the purchasing screen. So here we have the purchasing base unit and the material group. If I want to enter the purchasing group, I can enter the purchasing group. So whatever my purchasing group is, I will select the purchasing group. Now these are various checks like if I have want to do automatic PO, then I should click on this option. If I have purchasing value keys, uh, I should be able to enter the data here. And uh, the GR processing time, so how much time would it would take to process the GR? So I can say two days. So I enter the GR processing time as two days. Now this is important, like if I want to have source list for this material, I have to check this option. So if I check this option, then source list for this material will be mandatory, okay? Now, if I press enter, I would go inside the uh, accounting view. So I select the price. Like if I if I want to have price as six, I can put six here. So the valuation class I have to set from here. So if I uh, select my valuation class, so it should be able to take that. So here in accounting one, I selected the valuation class. I put the price. So here it is. Uh, uh, price control if you see the price control is standard price so the price will be fixed and this is the price for one unit and uh, if i press enter i would go to the last screen the uh, last screen that is accounting two so if i press enter and we fill the data and we click on yes so if i click on yes the material will be created so here as you can see the material has been created Now, if I want to display the material, I can copy this material here and I go to MM03. So, for example, I can go to slash and MM03. And this is the last material. And I can, for example, I can take these two data, so like basic data one, two, and purchasing. I go to a cog level. I select my plant and I go inside. So, I can see the data which are filled the material group, the, the base unit. In basic data two, I have nothing. And if I go to the purchasing view from here, I can see that I have filled the data here. And if I go down, the source list is checked. So I have to maintain a source list. And also the GR processing time is two days. I have filled it. So this is how we create a material master. So see you again in another video. Till then, take care and goodbye.